Hello, Bill. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website along to me for analysis, and that's what this video is. It is your video analysis. I'm going to show you how your site has been performing online. I'm going to show you uh, why these folks at Best Choice Roofing are beating you currently and uh, how you can turn that around. The, I'm going to give you some tips that you can put into service right away if you want. Now, uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you, though, is that you have a great site, clearly. Look at all of that drone work. Uh, it is really spectacular. Um, and uh, these are some great L.A. homes. I, I, I just, yeah, yeah. And uh, I do have a couple of questions, though. On your site, you have 818s, but on your Yelp, you have 213. Uh, you say you're in downtown, 90018 is what I find on the Better Business Bureau. So uh, you have a, a lot of online presence, so that's great. And your website is great. It's beautiful. Uh, it might be a little brief, but it's actually quite nice otherwise. Uh, I'm going to tell you more about why I said it was brief. Also, the video does stop at some point. It should just continue to. There we go, finally. I don't know why there's a big blank spot there. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you something that I use. After I look at this site, I have this paid tool. It's called Ahrefs. It is something I subscribe to. Uh, it tells me how your site is doing over the last couple of months. Then I go to Google and do a regular old Google search, in this case for 90018 roofing. And uh, I, I, hopefully that is your uh, zip code because... Um, well, anyway, here here is the map pack of that of that very uh, uh, zip code. So, uh, and the reason I'm showing you this is because Google is responsible for 96% of the traffic on the internet. That is an astounding amount, isn't it? I mean, if you did 96% of all the roofs in just your area code, people would say there is something funny going on there. But uh, Google got in early and they got in big and they have just taken over. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how Google works, because if you don't know how something works, you can't utilize it. Uh, and uh, most people don't know how Google works. So maybe you're one of those uh, and I will be explaining something new to you. Uh, and I'm going to show you how Google works by explaining the results of this search that I did for 90018 roofing. Um, now, uh, Hancock Park. I have some friends that live in Hancock Park. I used to live uh, in uh, Venice and uh, Sunland and <laughs> all around L.A., all around L.A. Um, so uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is that there is a Google algorithm that is responsible for placing everything on a Google uh, search page result. And uh, that algorithm uh, is looking for three specific things. And those three things, once they're satisfied well, will help the placement uh, that you have on uh, the results page. Now, this first little area here is called the map pack, and you'll never guess why. Uh, and the reason is some people like to hire local. Uh, in L.A., it's, you know, not that big of a deal. But, uh, you know, if you want somebody in your neighborhood, say, uh, that would be a good way to find somebody. Um, now, uh, these folks up here filled out a Google business profile. That's why they are here. And they filled it out well enough and thorough enough that uh, Google rewarded them. The algorithm rewarded them with these three prime spots up near the top. Now, some people don't really know what, uh, oh, that must be near Koreatown, these folks, uh, don't really know what uh, the map pack is about. So this is where the uh, organic search results come in. Now, uh, the organic search results are organic in the sense that uh, you don't have to do anything to be on it other than have a web page. But where you are on it actually makes a huge difference. Now, um, as you can see, the first couple of listings here are Yelp and Yelp and Yellow Pages. Uh, that means that they have pretty good uh, web stats. Uh, but uh, the first actual... Um, contractor I find is here, Best Choice Roofing. Now, I think that they are not necessarily based in LA, but uh, I'm going to show you something really uh, 
fast here. I'm going to take your website. I'm going to cut and paste it into this word counter. I hope no, I didn't do that well. All right, let's see. Copy and paste. Let's try this again. There we go. 577 words for Rain Tech Roofing. Now I'm going to do the same to them. Copy. Oh, come on. Computers, you can't live with them. Can't live with them. Uh, I'm just going to do it this way. There we go. Just scroll down and down. This is search. Uh, okay, now I have all of their words in there. I'm going to do the same with them. Uh, 1,471 words. Now, uh, the reason I did that is because Google loves content. The reason is Google wants wherever site that their uh, search customers end up at, they want them to learn something about what they just typed into that Google search box. Now, uh, Google has determined that the least amount of words that you can have in order to teach them about, your web, about whatever they typed in is 1,500 words. These folks are very close, but not there yet. That is an opportunity for you because 577 is only a third of the way there, and these folks have you beat. So that is one of the reasons that uh, the map pack is important. Uh, and the other uh, organic is too, but all words are not equal at Google. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, keywords is what we're looking for. Now, keywords are words that exist in your industry. They exist in uh, your site and the site of your competitors. Uh, and they exist in Google searches and in the communities that you serve, you know, I don't know, Pomona or whatever, uh, La Cañada. Uh, so uh, those are what keywords are. Now, you have four and best choice has 6,400. <clears throat> now, this is why I suspect that they are not local because they these are probably a lot of keywords that have to do with the different areas that they serve. Nonetheless, that is a very large amount. Let me show you what they have just to make it easy. Obviously, we're going to eliminate anything that has best choice roofing. That's just people who are looking for what they already know the name of the company is. But roofing companies, uh, roofing insurance, um, boy, uh, what? Roofing companies in Clarksville, Tennessee, Greenville, North Carolina. Ah, see, yeah, a bunch of these are because they are nationwide. Orlando, that's why they have so many of these. But that still means that they are beating you online. They are getting a lot more uh, 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 visits online as a result. Uh, and it, it's here we go. Here's one from your industry. Three tab roof shingles. I have never used those three, four words in that order in my life. So that must mean they are part of your industry. Uh, ridge cap. Uh, I know what that is actually, but I don't use that phrase often. I would say I've used it once in my life. So again, another thing that has to do with your industry. Now there are another 149 pages of these sorts of things. And if they're good enough for them, they're certainly good enough for you. Um, now the next thing I need to show you is backlinks. Backlinks is where your site appears on some other site and there is a link back to yours. I'm gonna see if I can do this really fast, show you what your own links are. Um, and uh, that way you can kind of see uh, one of the examples that I often use is uh, Yelp. But uh, for instance, you're on Owens Corning. Uh, and that's probably because you use their materials. And you're also on bestprosintown.com. Uh, these are two great sites. They are rated 70 or above. So that is great. This is the domain rating, the strength of a domain's backlink profile. Your particular domain rating is 4.7. And these folks here have an 83. I'm going to show you what your competitors have. Uh, they have uh, 3,000 backlinks on 361 domains. Now, your domains are two. Theirs are 361. I'm going to show you what they have. They have, uh, well, indeed, that means they were hiring somewhere in the U.S. Home Advisor, MapQuest, um, Proven Expert, Expertise.com, Yellow Pages, uh, Dun & Bradstreet. Uh, these are all uh, sites that you could get on 
if you wanted to by filling out a profile, just like the Google one is asking you to do. And all of these are fairly high rated. This old house, super pages, Owens Corning. See, there it is again. Um, that's what your competitor has. And you only have one. Now, if these are good enough for your competitor, again, they are good enough for you. You want them to be in 70 or above. That's ideal. You're going to have some local ones, though. Maybe LA Weekly is not going to have one this high. But, you know, if you somehow have a listing with LA Weekly or other sort of business journal things, uh, that would be a great thing to get on. Those might be less than 70s to 90s, but that's okay. They're local and they have to do with your location and they have to do with your industry. Now, um, this is what it all comes down to. Your backlinks and your domains and your keywords have led you to have over the last two months, zero visitors from a Google search. You have had no visitors come from Google to you. Now, this is what your competitor has, 5,600. Now, you know, just in the way of percentages, some of this, of course, as we know, is coming from Tennessee and South Carolina, North Carolina, or whatever. But not all of them are. And whatever that number is, it is higher than zero. And that means that they have, uh, you know, just in flat numbers, let's say 5,600 more opportunities to have somebody, a visitor to their site, become a, a customer and then become a paying customer and put money in your pocket. And uh, that is because of where you are in the Google search. Now, this is their site. I'm gonna just do you something really fast. I'm gonna show you that they have that they are Los Angeles premier roofing company. And the reason they can say that is because they can. If it's on the internet, it's true. That's all there is to it. Google doesn't vet anything like that. Uh, uh, now, I'm going to do something really fast. I'm going to go to the Google search, and I'm going to look for Rain Tech Roofing. I'm going to see uh, how far down it is, because I want you to think about your own Google behavior. When you are online and you are looking for something on Google, how far down do you scroll before you think to yourself, you know what? I probably have what I need from here on up. I'm, I'm just sort of spinning my wheels at this point because I've gone so far. I've had a bunch of, of uh, listings that are probably going to be good. I am not finding you. This is how far down somebody would have to scroll and still not find you. So that is what I'm talking about. Now, just to uh, summarize, I'm going to, this is the map pack. So we're talking about filling out a Google business profile. B, we're talking about more and better keywords. And C, more and better backlinks. Now, uh, these are things that you can implement today if you so desire. Now, we can also help you implement these things because we do have the expertise and experience to do that. It's not necessarily about changing the beautiful site that you already have. It's just about making the interior of it work better. Uh, you know, your, your uh, website designers did a great job designing it. They're like the, the paint shop and the body shop. We are like the mechanics. We get in there and actually make the site work. So um, if uh, you like what I've been talking about, uh, stand by because Eric is going to give you a call at some point to follow up and see what you think about the ideas that I've gone over in this video. Thank you so much, Bill, for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.